But you know, I don't believe that the Soviet Union is a evil empire because a country could be evil but rational. I think the Soviet Union in a way is worse. It's a natural disaster. I mean, things just happens here and there is no way you can rationalize them. But it's better. Isn't it better than it was a few years ago? It depends what you're talking about. The situation with food is the worst since the World War II. Uh, in most of the cities in the Soviet Union, well, except Moscow, meat, butter, sugar is rationed. Right. And the problem is, of course, certain things have been improved. Uh, like, for example, the published things that haven't been published before. Other things have changed. Gorbachev is trying to deal with the problems. But, first of all, they cannot deal with all the scope of the problems, so they choose several. And when they try to deal with the few of them, they ignore the rest. They throw the society into convulsions. What if we divide them up into little groups? <laughs> and give them states. I know, you know, I, See, that's look, how we did it. Then you give them a flag. Yeah, the Soviet economy can be effective, but not efficient. You can send probe to a Mars. You can launch, you know, a man into space. Yeah. It can be very effective. But at the same time, this country cannot produce enough shoes or a toilet paper for itself. And it's not a joke and it's not a coincidence. So far, the best argument for perestroika that I've heard is that it has to be a success because uh, if the perestroika doesn't work, it would be such a disaster. Yeah, but something's got to move. Otherwise, what do you want to do? Just well, rub sticks together? Look, the simple thing that uh, it's all right to buy a thing and then to sell it with a profit, it's natural. That's what people have been doing since, you know, Bible's times. It's immoral in Russia. It's not only illegal in the Soviet Union, it's basically referred to be as immoral. It's immoral? Yes. It's illegal. But if you ask people on the street, they say, sure, you know, no one should be allowed to do that because someone will get rich by doing nothing. They what do they think when they see me? What do they think? Look, the Soviet citizen, an ordinary Soviet person on the street, if you bump into him yeah. and strike a conversation, it's, it's the same as if you run into an alien in the street of New York. Come on. No, I'm, I'm dead serious because for, the, for most of the Soviet people, the foreign countries, it's like ancient Egypt or a Roman Empire. They exist somewhere in their abstract mental world on TV or in a movie, but they're not real. But what do they think my life is like? They just don't think about it. See, the Soviet people cannot possibly want to have what you have. Because they, ha they have no idea what you have. They just have no idea. They can't even imagine it.